Kush Sovereignty, Black Righteousness Chapter 9, Cultural Conflict Wanyanyekavu placed everything in his backpack, ate his meal, and drifted off to sleep. The following day, Wanyanyekavu took the quick route through the woods and came upon an open field. Halfway through the field, he saw a sky craft pass. The vehicle did not make a sound as it passed, but he hoped they did not see him. The only way he didn't see me was if he wasn't looking. Just as he said that, the vehicle made a U-turn towards him. What now? He said to himself. Wanyanyekavu stood there as the craft approached, as it arrived, it hovered about ten feet in front of him in the air. It slowly lowered to the ground, and seated on it was a very handsome man, Wanyanyekavu could not tell if it was a man or a woman at first. Hello? Wanyanyekavu hesitantly said. He heard Mletsi's voice. Now, see it with your spiritual eyes. The man quickly transformed into a hideous creature. The creature's feet looked like talons with very long legs. The body and head were one giant blob with sores and blisters that had pus seeping out. It made his flesh crawl, he couldn't believe his eyes. Wanyanyekavu got into a stance. What are you? The creature said. I am a Benian Omega, 3, 45, and you are a lucky man, for you shall be my slave, my pet for the rest of your life so I may feed of you as you worship me. Wanyanyekavu threw three stars towards its head, and they just went straight through the creature. He tried to strike the beast, taking out his samurai, but the sword went straight through it. The beast laughed until Wanyanyekavu performed a powerful roundhouse kick that hit the monstrosity in the middle of its face, and the creature let out a howling sound. Several more punches, and then it backed up. In a state of shock, the creature pulled out a sword and swung at Wanyanyekavu. He dodged the blade as he continued to attack, but the creature just cried out in pain. Yael suddenly appeared and yelled out to Wanyanyekavu. Try this. A sword rushed toward Wanyanyekavu, and with great speed and timing, Wanyanyekavu punched the creature once more, then he turned around, just in time to grab the sword from Yael and cut the beast in half. The blade pierced through the flesh like paper as Wanyanyekavu slid it from its head down to its legs. A puff of smoke appeared, and it covered Wanyanyekavu in black soot. Yael approached Wanyanyekavu, these are the beings that we have been training you for, for they are the fallen angels that follow Satan. Therefore, earthly weapons cannot harm them unless it is shielded by a special substance that the Prophet Z shall provide. Wanyanyekavu had a strange look on his face, Prophet Z. But Yael and the sword both faded away.